Hey y'all, it's your girl uh, Tiger here. I'm coming at y'all real quick. Um, I just got off of work, so it's after nine o'clock at night. Um, it's been a lot of people that's been asking me in one of the cooking groups that I belong to, um, how do I make my homemade gravy? And um, okay, so um, because I work the hours that I work, I have to cook in between time. Y'all know what that means. That means before I start work or um, during work and today it was during work so I had sauteed me some um some little chicken wing things and you know I've had them cooking on low for a while now so this little roux that you see I call it a roux um that water and seasoning and broth that's made from um sauteing that chicken um that's what I'm going to use uh, to make my gravy. And for me, it's always done after my chicken is um, been cooking a while and it's tender. See that? See how tender that chicken is? I just, see, I just took that little piece off right there. Oh, I want to eat that. I love the skin. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I've had this cooking on low. Um, but now I'm actually... Mm, mm, mm. Now, I'm about to make my gravy. So I cut the fire up. So you want to have it on high when you cut the fire up. Okay, now you don't have to add onions. That's just me. You don't have to add onions, but that's just me. That's how I do it. I'm going to have some onions in my gravy. Some people don't eat onions. Bless y'all hearts. <laughs> but I do. Okay, so... Um, I got my onions in there, no particular weight. I give me a cup of hot water. And my water get real hot, okay? I got a bowl right here that got flour in it. You're going to start out sprinkling flour on top of this. That's how you do. Okay, that's like three big spoonfuls. Then you start adding some water. Make sure your fire is on high. Okay. So I added like a whole coffee cup of uh, uh, hot water. Y'all see that? And um, the reason that I got it on high is because I want it to cook a certain way. When you're building up that gravy um, from the beginning, you want to have it on high. Okay, and so then, cause you, you you're trying to smother it, and you want that that flour and that water to get in with them other seasonings that's already in that chicken. Okay, and then you gotta my chicken is still in the pot. You gotta stir it while you got it in there. You gotta stir it, stir it, you know, kind of hard or whatever, um, so you can get any lumps out, you know what I mean? And just to build up your gravy. Gravy is not as hard as people think. Y'all see that? My gravy got a pretty color. <laughs> um, my chicken been cooking for a while, so I don't have to add any seasonings to this gravy because the seasoning is already in that uh, broth that uh, came from slow cooking that chicken. So I'm gonna add more water. And that's just because I don't want my um, gravy to be real like salty, you know, from the, the broth. And you know broths carry a lot of um, salt in it. Um, salt in it because, you know, it comes from the meat. And then you, but it's best to make your gravy in because it's gonna already have the seasonings in it. And then you just keep stirring. Keep stirring. And how consistent you want your gravy to be depends on you. I like a nice little thick kind of gravy. Uh, I just like the way homemade gravy tastes. Right. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm sorry. Um, I had ran out of storage space on my uh, phone, so it wouldn't let me continue my video. But yeah, you just keep stirring it like this. Um, till you get your gravy to the consistency that you like and this is the consistency that I like okay and so 
Ooh, look, my chicken done fell all off the bone. Um, damn. Hey, y'all. Anyway, um, I got a video where I was actually making the gravy. Didn't realize that I didn't have the flash on, but the flash is on now. I just wanted to show y'all the results of my rice and gondoles and my uh, smothered chicken and homemade gravy. And that's here it is right here. So that's what I'm about to chow down on. I just got off of work. Um, and I have a whole pan of it. Alright, you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoy your meals. Bye.